Hello everybody and welcome to another RC Cars presentation and today we will be taking a look at the first case of 2015. Uh, now this uh, was released uh, maybe in November kind of around there early November and a lot of people have been finding it at Walmarts and I know who actually some person found Kit Webster at Walgreens here but I have personally not found these at all and actually got uh, all these for Christmas I only did get a few of them to keep in the package because I'm not opening any of these I'm going to go review them because I do have the version of it um, when it was previously released so I'll show that but um, all these models have been released before, and uh, uh, they are just kind of re-releases I'm going to keep in the package, but I will show all of them, and I will show the uh, no, loose version. I'm sorry, I'm kind of discombobulated right here, but uh, I'm just going to go through the package versions first, and then we'll go on to the... Uh, loose version. As you can see, we got Kid Webster here. And by the way, I just wanted to say that uh, they changed the packaging up quite a bit. Um, I'm pretty sure they like inverted the colors. As you can see, um, now it's a red kind of background and then white on the side there. When before it was a white background and then red on the side. Uh, so they kind of inverted it. They also changed the little name tag right here. As you can see, it was Kit Webster. Uh, with the um, silver guy all in around it, and then before it was just the name with nothing going around it. Uh, they did kind of change up the logos for the series. You can see this one's from Race Fans. Something that's kind of <clears throat> ironic about this version, or this car right here, as you can see. Uh, this little bio here is fans cheer on their favorite racers in the seaside town of Porto Corza, home to the second race of the World Grand Prix. All these cars are from Cars 1. <laughs> so, great job, Mattel. You kind of screwed that up because um, this is, what was this, a nine car series, and we've got five of them that are from Cars 1, and you have the thing here from Cars 2. So, if, there's probably at least going to be one car from Cars 2. But as you can see, these all have been released before. I'll show you those um, in a second here. But uh, as you can see, we got available 2015. Nice new background and stuff. It does look very nice. Kid Repster got a nice uh, card bio right there. Mm -mm. We got the Cars logo now up in the corner. As before, it was in the center there. Disney Pixar. Now the Disney Pixar is up here. So it's very clean. I really like it. Uh, so I'm just going to show the rest of them in the package here. And then move on to um, them in the loose version or non-packaged. And we can see, as you can see, we've got uh, Quarry Turbulets, or Turbowitz, I'm not sure how you would want to pronounce that, but uh, this is from a new series, Found and Lost, when in the first movie where Lightning McQueen was found in Radiator Springs, uh, we can see tipped off to Lightning McQueen's location, the media descend upon Radiator Springs and find the missing racer, and again, I'll show the rest of these uh, in a second here, and we got uh, Lightning McQueen right there, as he was found, because I'm pretty sure he was actually smiling there because he was looking at Mac. I'm pretty sure that was the scene they're looking for right there. We've got uh, Shigeko, um, one of the Tokyo uh, dance girls, or um, Geisha girls, I'm not really sure what. She was like one of the dancing girls, or like a uh, show girls, I'm not really sure. But uh, this was released before in like a mm, 10 car pack, something like that. I did purchase this one. Um, as you can see, it came with Okuni, it was like a Toys R Us pack in like 2012 from a new series as well, Tokyo Party. And uh, again, not too exciting on the back, we do have uh, Okuni here, which was the um, other girl, the Geisha girl, her show girl. And then we got Acer and Holly Shiffo, very boring, kind of odd, they, they uh, show some very boring releases there. But this is a 10 car series, so hopefully you can get some new models out of uh um, this series since there's only four shown. We've got uh, a wild party at Tokyo Art Museum welcomes the racers to the first of the three World Grand Prix races. And as you can see, the background shows Okuni, Tomiko, which is not shown on the back, and Shigeko. So we don't know if Tomiko's actually going to be released in the middle end right there, but um, a lot of people are hoping so because that was also another one that was released in like a a five pack and then uh, many people bought it and then I also wanted these two 
um, racers because I, I like getting up the piston cup racers. Uh, we got the third, the, the reoccurring series again, uh, piston cup, uh, and this was like for three years now, 2013, 2014, and now 2012. Uh, we got these. I won't be showing all these. I'll show these two obviously, but that guy came out in the first case of Deluxe, and then uh, so was Chick Hex. He was in the first case. Uh, these, this guy was released last year, so nobody's really gonna care about him. Using or Ryan Shields, which now they're calling the racers by their actual name and not their sponsor, so, uh, a lot of people are probably gonna want Using. I'll probably pick him up. Uh, the King Chick Hicks and Lightning McQueen compete in a tiebreaker piss, a tiebreaker race to win the Piston Cup Championship. And so we got Ponchy Wipeout, they're better known as Bumber Save number 90. And last but not least, Kevin Racing Tire, also known as Shifty Drug number 35. And then the back is the same, so. Uh, now let's get into the unpackaged version. Oh, one more thing. I just wanted to show that uh, I did pick up uh, uh, Frank here. I didn't find this in the store. I actually got for Christmas again the 2015 version of Frank. A lot of people want this and they're gonna love this. And it's from the new radio, or the third recurring series of Radio Springs third year and uh, all these have been released before nothing too special so um yeah I just wanted to show Frank if you guys want to see my review on it look at the 11th day of Christmas and you will find it so let's get on with the show here and we will start off I guess with Corey Turbulence this is going to be kind of a long video because I do want to show you guys some great detail of these views these are very nice um, I just kind of wanted to give you guys a good look of them all. So, as you can see, we've got Corey Turbulence here, which was the reporter from the first movie, kind of the main female reporter, I guess, um, that was shown a few times in the movie. As you can see, she's got the press sticker right there with the little Piston Cup logo. Uh, this was actually released in, like, first, in, like, a Walmart single exclusive pack. I'm not really sure, but that is how I got this one. I'll probably show a picture on the screen of the original version uh, but as you can see she's got a nice smile this is kind of a bland car but she is uh, it's all just this turquoise color and then these two red um, squares on the back to symbolize taillights um, and then the front lights are just kind of colored in just like it's shown on there though so I have a oops we're gonna fly Corey across the across my room but uh Kind of a blind car, not the best. Kind of a air that they kind of did, but as you can see, um, there is no review mirrors. No review mirrors. I think review mirrors would make like, make this car look great. As you can see, review mirror there, and review mirror there. And they still didn't crack that, which is kind of kind of suckish, but you know, whatever. Um, uh, it's still a nice car, I guess, in my opinion. And I know a lot of people want this since it hasn't been released in a while. So uh, that's Corey Turbulence, and now I'm gonna show you guys the guys, the cars on the back who are all re-releases. Uh, as you can see here, um, we've got uh, Andrea was released in the Racerama series, I think. Um, again, another one of the press reporters. This one's got like a microphone coming out the side. Um, Kathy Copper, one of the helicopters, RSN helicopters. Ron Hover, RSN Helicopter, and um, Dash Boardman up in the top there. Another one of the reporter dudes released in the like a lenticular and then lenticular version, I'm pretty sure. And then he was also released in like a Target 9 pack with like Timothy Two Stroke and Cruising Lightning McQueen because that was the version of Lightning McQueen that was really um, was shown during the scene of the movie. So um, all of these have been re-released before, and this is a eight-car series in all over. And so far, five of six of them have been shown, and they're all uh, duplicates. So that means two of them. Maybe uh, we'll get a new release. I don't know. Maybe we'll get um, a new one, uh, a new reporter or something. But uh, I still probably will purchase those ones that I've shown on there just because of the fact that uh, I probably will, they'll probably look really good in the pack, so I'll probably get, buy them. All right, next we'll take a look at Kip Revster here. <clears throat> Again, very nice. We got that Kip Revster here. Uh, if you, I know I did a review on him a while back, but that's when my videos were really bad. So you can see Kip Revster got the nice piston cup. Uh, I guess uh, 
mm, antenna thing that uh, mm, was like on Brian, you know, if you guys don't know the Brian the vendor, and so he sold those and stuff, and it's pretty cool, and same kind of thing that Marty Break Bruce had, only a lot bigger and different color. Um, got the nice racks on the top, and very, again, not too much of a special car, but um, check out the license plate here. Oh, and my camera does not like focusing on license plates, but it's um, weight, or it's W for Y-U-T, I'm not sure if that's supposed to do anything, but it's like W for, uh, I'm thinking what that could like spell out, but maybe it's just random. But again, very nice, showing at the end of the, uh, end of the first movie, I'll probably pull up a picture here. And, um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for Kit Revster. And now we'll take a look at the cars in the back, we'll see how many I want to pull down right now. Um, but, um, Mario Break Bruce, I just showed you that one, um, on the top left there, it was released in, like, maybe, in, like, a Target 7 pack with Kit Revster, I'm pretty sure. And that was released maybe one other time in, like, the final lap collection. I don't really remember too well. As you can see, JW, he was released um, in a Toys R Us 3 pack last year. And I guess I could pull him off my shelf right now. Um, JW right there, Timothy Two Stroke, and Matthew Trueblue McCrew, who were actually released last year. They both were released last year. Now they're releasing them again. I have no idea why. We've got Matthew Trueblue McCrew right there. And we've got Timothy Two Stroke. I probably won't be picking those two up because I just got them for the last year, so I probably won't be getting those two. I don't know why they keep releasing these same models over and over again. Like they just released them. And uh, probably the last one that's most exciting uh, is Shigeko here. And um, here we go. We got Shigeko right here. Um, as you can see, got the blue kind of eyeliner mascara. Very nice, got blue lipstick, and it's got this kind of veil going around here with flowers. Very nice wheels. Got this little hat with a hair, hair, hair piece. Very cool. I actually really like this model. As you can see, got flowers, and then I attached a plastic hat here. Very nice. I'm getting a little veil there, dress. And of course the fan, nice fan there. Um, and here is uh, Okuni, the common part, the red version of Shigeko, who was being released as shown on the back. Uh, hopefully that one will get a, uh, or hopefully, I mean, hopefully Tomiko will get a release. What am I talking about? Which is the purple version of them and has an umbrella instead of the fan. Um, so that's pretty much it for Shigeko. I'm not gonna show Acer and Holly because nobody really cares about them after being released like fifth, um, four years in a row or whatever. But as you can see, we got Kevin Racing Tire here. Uh, Shifty Go Sponsor. I know a lot of you guys probably seen this, so I'm not gonna spend too much time. Uh, I am gonna say if you guys have seen the first, uh, two packs for 2014, you may be happy. You may be not so happy, but it's Easy Idol. And his pity, and uh, there's another one, RPM's crew chief and RPM's pity, which is kind of odd that they do him and his, uh, they do Easy Idol and his pity, but they don't put maybe Easy Idol's crew chief who was never released, but you know, Mattel kind of is bad like that, they don't like making too many new releases, even though, you know, they probably get a lot more money, because I, I buy the two pack, but now I'm not going to buy it. I mean, it does look nice and all, nice presentation, but I'm not going to buy it. Uh, I don't know why they keep like keep doing all these re-releases. Doesn't make sense to me. And uh, finally, we got Punchy Wipeout, also known as Bumper Save. A uh, very nice model. I actually really do like Bumper Save. Probably one of my favorite of the Piston Cup racers. Got the Bumper Save. All the sponsors, number 90. Very nice colors. But um, yeah, I like buying all the Piston Cup racers. And uh, as just kind of a final note, I did want to tell you guys some of the other 24, 2015 ones that were in the case that I didn't pick up, um, which is Pick Remember Sarge from the first movie. I didn't really want to care about this guy. I really want him, but I'm pretty sure he is 
in it. And then Maurice Welks, or now they're just calling him Maurice, now I'm pretty sure, who is also in it. I have him in the package here. But uh, he's also in the case. And they don't show any new models on the back. They, he is in the Palace Chaos series again. And they just show him and then two other cars that are all like grayed out and have question marks on them. And so that's pretty much it for the 2015 videos. Hope you guys all enjoyed and uh, try to get a few more videos out. Um, I did want to say one thing. This is very important. I'm doing a thanks video and anybody who may have a feeling that they might be in the thanks video, please put in the comment section below if you would not like me using your name in my video. So just let me know if you don't want me using it. Otherwise, I will if you if I want to thank you. And this has been a long video, but thank you guys for watching. I'll probably put that in the comment section below because some people won't um, watch the whole video. And those who did, thank you very much. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.